Luis. Yeah. It's me, Arnold. Thank fucking God I can see you. Thank you, God. Maybe you do exist. Uh, Arnold, what are you doing down here, bro? Well, we had a little incident. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la, 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 la. What happened, bro? I tell you, it is a bad combination. Chinese opium and Brazilian prostitute. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, man. I, I was just nodding off after a little bit of light after dinner bondage. And when the pimp comes in, he steals my wallet and gives me a good beating. <laughs> For watching too much television? <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow I feel my dignity is still intact. Wait a second. You're a guy who just enjoyed an opium-laden threesome with some light bondage. How could your dignity ever be in question? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> my friend. Uh, well, maybe you can help me uh, get back the wallet. Hey, compared to the shit I dealt with today, okay, that doesn't sound so shady. <laughs> so why the fuck you not? <laughs> I believe he is over on Bronco, my valiant Spaniard. Why did he not just ask me for the money? If he needed it, we could have made an arrangement. Perhaps a little four-way. Maybe he didn't want to subject himself to no bondage, light or otherwise. He was perhaps more dumb than sad, that's true, but surely being a pimp implies some perversity, or at least curiosity. It would have been an experience. Yo, don't worry, bro. We're gonna subject him to some shit soon enough. Life is an unpredictable thing, my friend. You don't need to tell me. Here's an example for you to digest. This morning, a delicious 22-year-old girl left her parents' apartment in Middle Park East. The only thing on her mind was buying a coffee, but uh, I made her a proposal. Soon she was drenched in champagne, bent over naked in my hotel suite. <laughs> Before 11 a.m., she was shoveling cocaine into her nose with a caviar spoon and begging me to give it to her again. And a few hours later, you was getting your ass beat by a pimp and bowhead. Life sure does twist and turn. Touche. I should introduce you to my boss, bro. You guys can party together. Ah, uh, perhaps on my next trip. Yeah, no doubt. If we survive that long, you're on. That's him. Do you think you can get my wallet back? Don't worry, bro. He ain't getting away with your wallet. Here's your wallet, bro. I'd stay in Afghanistan from now on if I was you. Things get rough out here in the boroughs. They do, and that's why I like it. It's your life you're playing with, bro. I just don't want to see you end up one of them deviant sex stories gone wrong, like one of them guys who strangle themselves trying to get off. Civilian like you coming out to the point is almost a suicidal.
Okay, bro. This is where I'm leaving you. You still might get robbed around here, but they won't kill you. Adieu, dear boy. It's been fun. Where you want to go, Nobody. This is it, my compadre. We're Where can I take you? Take me to Port Tudor. This is it. Gracias, yo. We sell quality weapons and we know how to use them. Have a good day, sir. Nobody knows this. This is it, my compadre. We're here. Thank you, bro, very much. Man. Where's Tony? <laughs> Where's Tony? Where's Tony? What's wrong with... Hi, Evan. You're looking cut. Hi, Evan. Like a drink? Hi, Evan. If I wasn't straight, I'd ravage you right now. Evan, where's Tony? He said meet him here. <sighs> Who cares about fucking Tony? The man's a neurotic. He's back on drugs. He's looking old. He refuses to get any work done. And <laughs> P.S. The man's a wreck. Then break up with him for the last time and fuck off out of all of our lives, please. <laughs> wow. Somebody's got his sister's underwear on by mistake. Ay, Dios mío. Evan, look, I always thought that even for a coke bush and steroid junkie, you were a particular asshole. Okay, I'm just gonna admit that. Now, would you shut the fuck up before I shut you up? Now, where's Tony? He's in the bedroom. <sighs> ah. Hey, Tony, get up. Ah, piss off. Come on, get up, man. Let's go. <clears throat> ah, piss off. I wanna die. Okay, man, if that's how you want it. Come on. Let's go. Better? Yo, oh, great. Come on, puppy. Let's go. This way. This way. What? Come on. Oh, come on, fuck this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so we have something to take care of. I ain't having you screw up. I should have let your parole officer put you back in prison all those years ago. You're a degenerate. Uh, what about me? You guys can't just leave me here. Uh, yeah, good point. Oh. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. 
Now fuck off, Evan. You gave him the pills. Be gone before I get back. Let's go, puppy. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Oh, I'm good. You fucking had her all! Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I, I forgot something. Forgot what? The, the, the explosives. Explosives? Explosives? Yo, what's wrong with you, man? You want a nightclub, not a terrorist cell. Ow, Rocco's gone nuts. He's gonna burn the clubs down for insurance. He's gonna fucking kill us. Yeah, he's gone crazy, and you're running around with some bombs, OK? What kind of drugs do you want? I hope they're strong. I told him I'd take care of his union problems for him. It, it's, uh, it's the only way out. Either that or they kill me. Yeah, I wish you'd talk to me about this first, man, OK? Blowing shit up ain't exactly your side of the business, OK? It's not your forte. What do you care about the business? You got your head, your fucking head in the clouds, huh? You think you're a big shot. You're a nothing, and soon you're gonna be a dead nothing. Yeah, no doubt, boss. Now where are you going? <sighs> think I got a guy digging up Frankfurt Avenue for Liberty Electric. Okay, what else? Hey, the, the, the transport workers guy is uh, driving an out-of-service subway train through North Holland. I meant to take the whole thing out. A subway train? Jesus Christ, please tell me that's it. Now, the, the head of the LTA is out of France International in his private jet. Hey, you'll probably blow yourself up as soon as you walk out the door. You ain't doing this. I got to. It's the only way you can survive. Get out of my way. I'm sorry, as much as I'd like to right now, I'm not letting you kill yourself. Try and stop me, huh? Okay. Go! Oh, oh. <clears throat> Shit, Tony. You're a real piece of fucking work, you know that?
first one of the day. That's when you know I had a big night. Oh, no doubt, son. This is San Quentin Avenue Station. Shot at. be him.
Take care of this explosive bullshit, or are you gonna insist on blowing yourself up? I got us into this mess. Exactly, man. Thank you, partner. You should know that Evans walked out on me. We're over. Yeah, I heard that before, T. If it's real this time, it's a good thing. It's dragging you down, man. It's a fucking parasite. You need to concentrate on getting your own life together. See you soon.
proceed to highlighted route. Calculating route. In 20 yards. Turn right. Turn left. In 200 yards. Turn right. In one mile. Turn right. Please make a U-turn where safe. In 200 yards, turn right. You have arrived. Oh God. Hey, Margo. How are you? What are you doing here? I was just... just meeting someone. A date, actually. A Hercules? It, it's a gay club. You never answered my calls. Yeah, I'm sorry. Or my emails. Yeah, I meant to. I'm just... Fucking rude. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got a lot going on. Did you get the book I sent you? No. The flowers? No, li listen, Margo. You, you're a nice girl, and, and it was nice hooking up with you, but... It, it was over a year ago. What's time got to do with anything? It's, it was a long time ago. I mean, it's time to move on. You're pathetic. You know that? You think you're such hot shit, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm more like cold shit. But, but seriously, I just don't want to marry you. And no matter how many letters you send me, or chocolate bunnies, or skywriting my name, or naming stars after me, or whatever. It's nothing personal. <laughs> no, rejection never is personal. You know, my dad was right about you. Your dad? Look, well, he probably was, okay? But if you'll excuse me, I, I gotta go. You, you can't go. <sighs> but, but I can go. You can't. I'm going to die. I just took 37 painkillers and 15 sleeping pills. There, there's the bottle. I'm going to die, and it's all your fault. Oh, yeah, but tú sí que eres loca. I'll be dead soon. Either get me to the hospital, or I'm dead. You fucking idiot! You're going to the hospital, you idiot. Shit! Shit! Luis, why do I love you so bad? I think I can feel my heart breaking, baby. No, dumbass. That's just your liver failing. <coughs> In 10 yards. You're my fucking Turn. savior, Luis. <coughs> Kiss me, baby. The only thing going near that mouth is a tube for the stomach pump. <coughs> I'm slipping away. Hold me, Luis. Hold on to yourself, bitch. It would be really convenient if you died on me. I was real stupid, wasn't I? Now you're starting to understand. Thank you. Time to empty my hands. 
Get in there. You're the doctor's problem now. Aren't you coming in? You could hold back my hair when they pump me. I see enough bulimic bitches at the club, Margo. You're on your own. I love you. Here we are. 